we're here today to explain about our, our formula called Jericho Solutions. Uh, Jericho Solutions comes in, in, in three products and uh, we're, we're going to examine this wall. This wall is a painted wall, but this painted wall has an acrylic based paint. And uh, any, any wall that's painted in acrylic, which has like a plastic base, our formula will work on. We avoid, uh, our product can at times be too, too good because if you put it on a, on a water-based paint, it'll remove the graffiti and the paint. But if you look at, at this type of uh, wall, and it's, a, it's a, uh, a, uh, an acrylic base paint, and of course your, your worst colors that, uh, that are graffitied are your primary colors, yellows, reds, uh, greens, and silvers. Uh, one of the things here about this wall is that, uh, that when you have it painted in acrylic, our uh, spray bottle will remove that. Uh, we call it a window of time. Our product can remove this red, can remove, can remove the graffiti and the red. But in this case, you just want to remove the graffiti. And when you remove the graffiti, uh, you have a window of time before the formula works on here. So we're gonna, uh, we ne normally neutralize the, the formula with water. And that's all it takes to neutralize by water. We're continuing uh, with, our, with our demonstration. Here we have an acrylic, again, an acrylic painted wall, concrete wall. And uh, uh, we are gonna attempt to remove, we're gonna remove the graffiti and not remove the red. So uh, we'll let the we'll we'll let the product speak for itself. Okay. As you can see, the product is already removing the tack surface. Now one of the things when it, when, when we need to do is to neutralize the surface. Right now as we spray, it'll remove the paint. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do a parcel, a partial uh, demo for the purposes of, of our presentation. As you can see that it's beginning to remove it. Now, we always use a, a, a white cloth or, or let's say we use uh, something that is white because you don't want a colored rag because our formula will discolor the color. The, the red. And all we're doing is wiping off. As you can see here, you don't see any of the red. Okay. Now, if we if we leave the formula too long, it will remove the red. Our product comes in a in a liquid and a gel. Uh, the reason we liquefied it is because it cuts down on on uh, on labor. Uh, we use the gel when have a windy condition. Uh, we, we can roll it on and then and clean it off. Okay. So this is a painted surface right here. And you can see I removed partial and if I was to apply the wrist, it'll come off. Uh, we're here to do a demo once again to remove uh, the tagging is becoming very popular on vehicles, and uh, uh, we have uh, sprayed this car with black and white, but it will remove any color that is sprayed on. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, our formula comes in a gel. We have also formulated it in a gel, and the purpose for the gel so that the so that the formula won't slide off. And uh, so. As you can see, our gel. Now, as I, as, 
is our formula is breaking down the gel, I mean the, the paint surface. We need to wash off the pigment, we need to wash off the paint. We usually use water, and water will neutralize our, uh, our formula and also remove everything that's been liquefied. As you can see, if you use a white towel, you'll only get the paint that's on, on the formula. job on to redo this if they couldn't do it and, and, and in some instances would be hundreds of dollars but on this see it's liquefied everything After it's removed, to, to remove the residue, all you do is spray water, clear water, and rinse it off and it will go back to this. This wall has been sprayed with our uh, sacrificial coating, the Guardian, <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tag it here, live it in color. the two colors. Some of you, I think we have someone that's a painter here. Let's kick it on here. <laughs> okay. I would have never dreamed. As, as you can see, some that our sacrificial coating will not change the, uh, or alter the surface, whether it's a, a brick or a stucco or a uh, stone. Uh, here in Texas, a lot of uh, limestone is used. But the limestone is very soft, very sensitive. But uh, uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove with our uh, sacrificial coating. It makes it much easier. And we always spray from the bottom. From the, uh, when you're applying the coating lower spray, it doesn't matter if you apply it, but when, you, when, you, um, when you're going to clean it, you, you start at the top so it'll trickle down. And pretty much what... what Small applications like this, you don't have to have any uh, any neutralizer, or you can use some neutralizer. You don't have to make a power washer. In large surfaces, we we recommend that you do a, a power washer. Here's the area where it's kicked on. One of the things on the areas where it's kicked on, remember there's several mils of, of thicknesses of paint that the formula has to work on. So as we're spraying from top to bottom. The, 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 uh, and what we'll do, because we are um, we are removing the, the graffiti, we'll have to re, re, remove the residue, the residue of the paint, the residue of our formula. Okay, in a sacrificial coating, what we do on buildings is that that's exactly what it means, sacrificial. We've sacrificed the coating. Once we clean this off, we wait for it to dry and we reapply it and then 